My soul subscribers, what's up? It's your girl unknown goddess. Um, who sings this song? Is it Teddy Pendergrass? If you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. All right, so somebody's letting them letting somebody know. Look, get your shit together, because if we can't see eye to eye. If we can't trust each other after all these years, what's the purpose of having this love affair? What's the purpose? And we might as well go our separate ways, right? So let's see what's going on. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's going on with this person. Okay? All the things that we've been through, you know, um, this person is letting you, you know, letting this person know, according to the lyrics, they know the difference between right and wrong. They, wouldn't, they ain't going to do nothing to upset our happy home. This person know they're not happy when you come home late at night, a little bit late. They get upset. Y'all start arguing and fussing and fighting. All right? Yeah. I had to listen to them lyrics. I had to because it's an old school song. <laughs> that song was out before I was even born. So, let's see. I feel like you're giving this person a heads up like, look. And in the end of the song, it said 10 years. So some of y'all been with this person 10 years, 10 plus years, and there's still no eye to eye. They can't see, can't, you just can't meet each other halfway. That's a long time, though, to be doing that. Yeah. All we do is argue, fuss, and fight. There you go. This person likes to argue. Okay? Yeah, yes. And you're steady trying to manage it. You're steady trying to, like, with the two of pentacles here, you know, I feel like even if this person come at you with this energy, you try to just rebalance it out. You know, you try to you try to cry, you try to call you cry peace. You know, you, you try to keep it together. You're the one trying to keep the relationship together. But it's time for transformation, baby. It's time to spread them wings and fly away. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I won't fly away. Mm. Put your arms around me, baby. Anyways, let's see what's going on with my soul subscribers. All right, let's see. My life is Father God. As I open these realms, I ask that you give me clear messages for my beautiful soul subscribers. Protect my aura and my chakras. So multi it be. All right. There it go again. You're tired of the fighting and the fussing. You're tired of this. This is all this person focuses on. It, it, you know, it just sounds like a miserable relationship. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay? Yeah, y'all could have been together five years. Short space of time. In the short space of time, you're ready to let it go. Yeah, this person, I, I feel like with the moon card here, they always feel like you're trying to have some, you're holding secrets back from them. You know, they're very insecure. You're dealing with somebody who's very insecure. Okay, this could be a, a Scorpio, Pisces, you know. This person is very insecure, you know. They always think that you're trying to manipulate them, you know. They feel like you're trying to trick them with this manipulation, with this magician card here, right? Yeah. Feel like you always got something up your sleeve. You're manipulating, yeah. But you're always trying to balance it out with this person. I just feel like this person is emotionally codependent, okay? Yeah, with the moon card here and the six of pentacles here, they're emotionally codependent. This is... Excuse me. This is someone who's dealt with a lot of conflicting relationships in the past. And they're projecting this onto you. Okay. I feel like you try to heal this person. But they have a lot of fears. Okay. And they create these negative thoughts of the things that you're doing. And it's not what you're doing. It's all in their head. You know. You know. You try to balance it out with this person. But at the same time, I feel like you're being breadcrumbed. You're putting your all into it. And, and at the same time, it's just not an equal give and take. I feel like you try to show this person. Yeah, they're always in this, this this defense mode. It's like you always got to defend yourself. And if that's to be the case, that's not a relationship. That's that's not a relationship, my collective. No. No, this person is just, they're stuck. You know what I'm saying? They're very stuck. They're used to people who is being, who is inconsistent. You know, um, I feel like you always try to put the hard work in with this person and show them that you're consistent, to show them that you love them, that you care for them, that you're here for them. I'm genuine. I'm real. I, I ain't trying to manipulate you, but this person is just, yeah, this is all they bring. Past, past relationships. 
that has been a burden, they're bringing it into your relationship, into y'all relationship. And it's heavy. It's really heavy. And I feel like somebody's ready to let it go. Y'all are giving them the ultimatum. Like, look, if we can't see eye to eye after all these years, you know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. You know? Oh, anything else, right? Yeah, there go the stuck card again. You know, this person is just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're dealing with people who always just was always be inconsistent with their actions towards them. You know what I'm saying? They're coming from a lot of burdens of relationship and they're projecting it into this relationship, right? They're going to tell them once again. Yeah, they're used to people cheating on them. You know, this is what they used to having being in third party, being the third wheel in a relationship, right? This is what they used to, right? So they like to argue, they like to fight. You know, it's like it's like a challenge. It's like you got to prove to this person all the time that you're there for them, you're loyal to them. Yeah, who, who wants to be in a situation like that? Fuck that. That shit is stressful. That's stressful. No, if you go out with your friends, you come home a little late. So who was you with? You know what I'm saying? They up your ass. You know what I'm saying? They on you like a tick. They want to come. They blown up your phone. You know, and if you don't answer, you miss a call. Oh, you was with somebody else. Oh, you put your friends before me. Like, really? You can't even go out and enjoy a night. You're afraid, you're afraid to go out. The fuck? It's heavy. So you, you try to stay at home with this person. You try to do things with them. I feel like even if y'all were there watching a movie and your phone got a message, they over there side looking, looking over your hand like, mm, who's that? Why don't you answer the phone? Why don't you check your message? Like, really? <laughs> I can't do it, y'all. Yeah, you try to show this person like, look, and you, you're, you're, you're letting this person know like, look, you deserve love. And I'm trying to show that to you that you are lovable, right? You are lovable. But it's like some of y'all are asking friends, what should you do? It says, let friends and family help you ask for help and support from others. Right. So I feel like some of y'all be like, look, you be asking your friends and your family to vouch for you. Like, look, he or she. Yeah, I was with them all night. You could check the phone. You could call their phone. If you can't get me, call their phone. That's too much. That's just too much. They can't get a hold of you. They call one of your friend's phone. Blowing your friend's phone up, leaving messages. And I mean nasty messages. Very rude messages. You know? Cussing your friends out, your family out. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's to the point where people are just like, look, I don't even want to be around you. Because of your because of your mate. Because of your spouse. It's too much. This person goes as far as doing that. And you know, and it's just like too much. They can't get a hold of you. They need, they, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's going on here with this love relationship? But this is a love relationship. It says heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And that's what you do. You open. You letting them know, look, you need to heal your past issues. I'm not here to cheat on you. I don't have a third party in the relationship. When I go out to enjoy my friends with my friends and my family, I'm truly with them. I'm not cheating on you. I'm letting you know right now. I'm here to give you an equal give and take. But this person is emotionally codependent. That's what they are. And it's, it's, it's draining, my collective. It's very draining. Okay? You're letting this person know it's safe. Soulmate. Okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. But what type of soulmate? Okay? You letting this person know that you really truly do care for them. You do love them. I'm not your past lovers. Okay? I'm 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 not you're not like a substitute lover. You're my real I love you. I genuinely love you, but I don't know. I don't know. This person needs to go within and heal. Okay? They dealing with a lot of fears and anxiety, you know, and they fighting with that. It says healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is probably what they grew up seeing. The, you know, Papa was a rolling stone. Do, do. Wherever he lay, his hat was his home. You know what I'm saying? They probably seen their mother go through this. The women in their family or the men in their family go through this. You know, putting their love in they all, trying to balance the shit out, but still unhappy and they still stay there. You know, they probably dealing with this. You know, that third party shit. They grew up to see that shit as a child. You know, true love. Didn't I tell you? True love will never die. So this is this is the romance of a lifetime. Maybe that's how it started out. Maybe that's how it started out. It was all good. But as, as time went on, this person just, they started revealing their insecurities, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So it's, uh, you guys are going to let this person know very soon, clearly decide what you want so that this comes to you now. You know, you let this person know like, look, I can't do it alone. It takes two. And if you're going to keep bringing all this projecting that I'm cheating on you, um, that I'm, I'm out here creeping on you, it, then it makes no sense. I might as well be by myself. Okay. So you're letting this person know straight up. I can't deal with your burdens. I can't deal with your insecurities. Like, yo, what the fuck? You understand? Let's see what this person is dealing with because they, they got issues. I, I don't know. What, what do I pull on this person? What do I pull on this person's spirit? Papa was a rolling stone. Yeah, the breakup oracle. Because I feel like that's what's going to happen. Drama. Look at the bottom of the deck. It says drama. I have too much drama in my life. I'm trying to stay out of it. Look at that. This is it. This is the drama that they bring in. The stay past relationships. This is what they bring in. This is what it, and, it, and it's, it's causing the race, the relationship to be stagnant. You know what I'm saying? It's causing them to be, because they, they got, they, they, they're dealing with a lot of fears, you know, the, the illusions, the confusions, you know, and that's what they bring it towards you. So that's what they, that's why they always focusing on a fight. Always feel like there's somebody else out there that they got to compete with. No, that's your past relationship. Cause they was always breadcrumbed in the, in, in their past relationships. I'm not the one though. I'm trying to show you something. Right? But they got to heal their issues. They got to heal a lot of issues. Okay? They they got issues. I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't deal with that. Yep. Dating. I'm back into the dating scene and making the effort to move on. So, this is what you're letting this person know. If you don't get it together, honey, I, I'm, I'm going to make the effort to move on. I'm going to start doing me. Because I, I can't fuck with you. Okay? And then they want to fight. They always want to argue. This person gets physical, too. For some of y'all. This person gets physical. They even cuss your friends out and shit. Yo. What, what was this person dealing with in the past? Why are they projecting it onto you? Because you're really letting this person know. You talk to them with a loving heart. You know, you try to give them courage. You know, you try to build them up with the courage with the seven of wands here. But, you know, you, you, you're really trying to persevere with this person. But you always got to defend yourself because they're defensive. Okay? They're defensive. And it's just a heavy load. It's, it's just too much of a burden. What's, what's, what's this person coming from? What, what was going on in their past relationship? Drama. That's what was going on. Okay. All right. So you're letting this person know, look, take it slow. All right. Um, what's that song I'm hearing? Oh, my God. I hear the lyrics in my head, but I can't get it out. But anyways... Taking it slow. You let this person know, like, all right, then, well, let's back off. Let's slow down then. Let's, you know, let's let's go our separate ways and, you know, probably just, you know, reverse. Let's just back off of each other a little bit. No, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. You know, maybe you're moving too fast to this person. Maybe you're just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's what this person was telling them in the past. Let's take it slow. Really, but really, they they didn't want to get involved with this person. You know, they love her. They ex-love her. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, arrogant. They was dealing with somebody who was very arrogant. It says, if I don't, if I don't get what I want from you, I'll get it from someone else. That's who they, this is what they was dealing with. They was dealing with someone who was very arrogant. Someone who was focused on themselves. This is who they was dealing with. Okay. That's what they was dealing with. Someone who was focused on themselves. Someone who was very defensive towards them. You know, couldn't ask them no questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they always have to fight for this person's attention. Because they was always in a love triangle right here. But they need to heal their past issues. Okay? Childhood issues as well. You know, maybe daddy wasn't there. Maybe mommy wasn't in the home. You know, she chose her lover over them. Or, they, or he chose his lover over them. You know? They got mommy daddy issues. What else was this person dealing with in their relationship? Trust the plan. Okay? It's like, if you can't trust me by now, why bother? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, this is what it is. You let this person know, like, yo, trust the plan, yo, because I'm not your past lover. Stop comparing me to who you were with before. You know what I'm saying? This person would tell them that, like, you know, like I said, if they if they went to their ex love, they, they, I'm talking about their ex now. This is what they were dealing with in the past, right? Yeah, if they went to this person to ask them what was going on, this arrogant person who they were with would get all defensive, right? Would get all defensive, and they're used to fighting with this person, stroking this person's ego, right? The person who was they who they were with had a lot of ego, right? And 
I feel like they would try to t always, you know, with that with that magician card that we seen in when we turned it over, this person was very manipulating. You know, I felt like they built up so much trust in that person and then that person let them down. And that's the same energy they're projecting onto you like you're going to do the same thing, right? But it's not even like that. So I feel like... Huh, and maybe the person in the past told him, well, you know what? Real talk, you're not for me. You, you know, you're not for me. You're just not for me. I'm good. Broke their heart. They chose somebody else over them. So this is what they were dealing with. Late nights, you know, thoughts of them. Thoughts of you keep me up at night. Even when I fall asleep, I dream of you. All right, so this person never even let go of that past person. They haven't let go. No, they have not. They're still holding that in thoughts of how that person treated them and how you're going to treat them, right? Yeah, that's how they feel. This person is very insecure. And it's like at this point, it's becoming heavy. And you're letting them know, like, look, if we can't get see eye to eye by now, if, I, if my actions don't prove to you that I really truly love you, no matter how much you try to talk this person, you know, let them know, I really love you. I got your back. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to build this person's um, courage. You're trying to tell them, like, you know, you try to persevere with this person. But it's like, yo, they're just still stuck. Stuck in the past. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. New love. Stop comparing me with your old love. I'm the new one. You feel me? Yeah. What else is going on? What is the message of love? Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. You're letting this person know. But I told you their heart is guarded. You're being completely vulnerable with this person. With that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discuss feel your feelings with each other. And that's what you do. But I feel like you're pouring too much into this person. And it's like, you gotta. this person needs to heal. They need to heal. Yeah, they need to heal. They, they, they need to heal. It ain't your fault. See, you keep apologizing to this person. If if they get if they call you and they can't get you, if you're on the road and you know what if you were supposed to be home by 5:45 and you get home by 5:46, oh lord have mercy, all hell break loose. It's like you're constantly defending yourself. You're always defending yourself and apologizing to this person. For what? No, this person needs to go heal. That's what they need to do. That's what they need to do. Past life lover. See, they're projecting this past life love onto you. What this arrogant person did to them before. You feel me? And it's a soulmate connection. You, you really truly love you. You really truly care about this person. It says soulmate, past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So you really are connected with this person, but they're, they're, they're detached. They still stuck. They still stuck. They still like feel like you're going to come with something healing. There it go. Didn't I tell you? Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. That's what this person needs to do. They feel they, they still stuck in the past. You know what I'm saying? What else is right here? Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. I feel like you try to help this person to persevere. But you know what? I feel like you're telling them, like, look, I'm about to release this energy because it's too much. I, I, I can't do it. I can't even go out and enjoy my friends and my family. I can't even celebrate without you trying to call me, acting defensive, leaving dirty messages, fighting words. You get in the house, they want to fight. Come on now. Come on now. They focus on a lot of con conflict. They feel like you choosing your friends or your family over them. They feel insecure. Yo, it's yo. Go about your business, yo. You can't love somebody who's not ready to love themselves. They're not going to accept your love, my collective. They're just not. They're not. Marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. But if it is, honey, I feel like you're trying to, you're going to call off the engagement. All right? You're going to call it off. Or some of y'all are in a marriage with this person. Okay? Yeah. They're going to allow you see fate. It says this is a destined partnership, but they're about to fuck it up. They're about to fuck it up because they insecure. Yeah. They're about to mess it up. They're about to mess it up. It says financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. Yeah. Because this, I feel like some of y'all try to work with this person because they're right now, they're not in a good place right now. So I feel like you feel like if you was to leave this person out in the cold, you would feel fucked up because they're already so vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're 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 sacrificing your happiness for someone who is not happy within themselves. You can't do that. 
You can't do that. I don't care how much this is a destined partnership. Fuck that. You gotta go. That's a burden. I say choose self-love. And you already know the answer you're seeking, my collective. You already know. You're already thinking about this. You already know that you can't change this person. That's that intuition right here as well with the moon. All right? Your intuition is telling you, like, look, this person is never going to accept the love that I'm trying to give because they're so used to being breadcrumb. They're so used to being the third wheel. All right? This is how they grew up seeing this shit happen in their home. You feel me? What else is going on here, sir? Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Anything else? Yep. So I feel like a lot of y'all, it says find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. You try to do that with this person. You know, you've, you know, mastery. You've probably been down the same road too, but you chose to heal yourself. You chose to heal. You're ready to give this all this love and all this abundance, but this person just, I don't know. I don't know. This is like, this mastery to me is, um, like a page of pentacles energy, but also, you went from that page of pentacles to that emperor to that empress energy. And you're trying to teach this person something. You're trying to show them real love. You're trying to teach them a thing, but they've been dealing with a lot. They're still dealing with, they're still holding on to the rejections from their past. That's what they're holding on to. It says this rejection is actually divine protection. So if you're here trying to help this person to heal, you can't. They're going to always have their guards up. They're going to always focus on conflict because... Spirit is trying to let you know, too, it's time to let that relationship go. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Let it go. It's frozen. You know, you could pour your heart out all you want to this person. You're even, an apo you're even apologizing for things that you don't even do just to keep the peace. I mean, you've already been there and done that yourself, my collective. You already mastered it. It says you've learned your spiritual lessons. You've been there, too. You understand. But damn, let your guards down. Shit. I've been there too. I've been hurt too, but I'm not holding on to it. You And I feel like you try to tell this person, like, look, with, when you're right here being vulnerable with them, giving them a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you're letting them know, like, look, I, I've been there. I've done that. I would never do that because that shit don't feel nice. It hurts. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been through them fears and them anxieties, you know, that I would never find love again. And you're trying to show this person that love is here. I'm here. But they're not ready to accept that. So this person got a lot of healing to do. All right. Play hard, find time to laugh and goof off and enjoy each other. So I feel like even when you come home, you deliberately stay at work. You know, you, you go out, you try to enjoy your friends because you work hard. You know, at home is stressful. It's a burden at home, you know, and it's like you can't even do that because even that is a problem. You can't even go on and hang out with your boys or hang out with your girls. They blown up your phone. They blown up your friend's phone. They leaving dirty messages. They say the nastiest, rudest, mean things in front of your friends. It's like, uh-uh, that's too much. And I feel like a lot of y'all are losing your friends and family over this over this person. But Spirit says the rejection that this person is rejecting your love, okay, and rejecting being vulnerable with you. It's like you're putting in the hard work to to, to laugh and make this person happy. But this person needs to go within and heal. They got some healing to do. Because this is what they're projecting. Old wounds. Whoever this person was, this could have been their daddy, their ex. However, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're going to, yeah, 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 yeah. You try to take it slow with this person. Or this is what this person was telling them in the past. Not knowing that was just a front. This person was only manipulating them. But you're not that person. So it's like they're painting you with the same brush. And that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? So... Even if, you have, if you're in a marriage with this person or in thoughts of marrying this person, Spirit is like, you, you, this person got a lot of healing. They, they got a lot of healing to do. So for some, it is a marriage. For some, you're thinking about marrying this person, but Spirit is like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't keep apologizing for someone who's not ready to eat. apologize for what, though? Because they're insecure? Nah, it's like this person, if they could keep you in a box, lock you in a closet, they will. And they still wouldn't be happy knowing that you're in the closet. Because you'd be in the closet locked up that they put you in. And they'd be like, what you in there doing? I know you're thinking all sorts of negative shit about me. Really? Yo, this person needs help. <laughs> they need help. They need to go and seek counseling. Yeah, they do. They need to get themselves aligned to their purpose. They need to go and heal. There we go again. Healing family issues. And I feel like y'all try to hold on to this marriage. Or is intending on marrying this person. But... Spirit is letting you know it's time to move on. 
You know what I'm saying? Let this person find themselves. Let them find their way. Because no matter what you do, you cannot make this person happy. You just can't. Yeah, it's time to make that decision. It's time to make a decision and let this go. There it go. This is the third time. Healing inner childhood wounds. This is what this person is dealing with. All right? Yeah. And you're already in your present moment. That's that mastery. You're already abundant and showing gratitude. You know? And trying to project the same energy like, oh, get out of the past. Live in the now. I'm showing you real love. You know what I'm saying? I got love for you. Yeah. But this person needs to go within and do some self-care energy. That's what they need to do. All right? And that's what I have for you, my collective. That's what I have for you. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. I wish you guys love and light. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thumbs up the video and share this video with who you think might need to hear it. All right? It's your girl. I love you guys. Good night.